you. This is the Senate Judiciary. It is the day before St. Patrick's Day, which must mean it's March 16th, 2022. Um, and our first topic is the study that we did in the Qualified Immunity Bill, S-254. And um, after review, we think it should be revised. Um, and um, I don't know how to revise it. So Ben, you've given some thought to this. Um, yes, uh, Senator Chief, Ben Obergrowski for uh, Legislative Council. Uh, well, it was this and, and actually a, a, another bill too, um, but as far as the bill that's before the Senate Judiciary, um, there are some restrictions for the Office of Legislative Council making policy recommendations. Um, and with, with this bill, if the committee wanted um, to pick an, an independent entity, which I, I think was the goal of the committee in this report, um, you know, a way to do it could be kind of leave it as an entity independent of the General Assembly would be some potential language. But with this bill and the report here, this seems to be more appropriate in the sense that it's, it's really a legal analysis and memo um, before. And if we want to just make, if the committee wants to make it clear that there wouldn't be any policy recommendations that would come out of this report, that's something that could be done to clarify in addition to the kind of leaving the entity blank just as long as it's independent of the General Assembly. Um, this is the discussion also as far as S-250 is concerned as well. Um, and I think it's actually more relevant to, to, that, to, to that bill, um, but maybe yeah. less of a concern here, uh, but it was something nonetheless that I thought would be for the committee to consider. I'm fine with an entity that's independent of the political product, I don't know how you word it, but an en entity, because all we're looking for in this report is factual information mm -hmm. about what's happened and what didn't happen. We've gotten the problem that I have with the testimony during our work on qualified immunity has been the diverse opinions of the same opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and you know what happened in this case, what happened in that case, and Hi, Adam, the executive director of the Vermont Center for Crime Victim Services. Uh, Jennifer, and on behalf of the center. Jennifer, yeah, thank you. Um, so what I'm, I'm just looking for facts. So I don't know that it's something that that's why I thought legislative council was able to do that. We're just looking for an assessment of the various cases that have occurred in Vermont over the last 10 years to better understand what is the state of qualified immunity in Vermont. And, and, and Senator Sears, yeah, and that's something that is completely within the purview of Legislative Council. It was just if there were any recommendations that were maybe coming from that. I think we can and, make it and, clear that we don't expect any recommendations. We just expect yeah. an analysis of the various decisions yeah. by the courts in over the past 10 years in cases where um, qualified immunity has risen as yeah. a defense. Yeah. Okay. And I, I can I can put in that clarifying language and then circulate a, a draft. Um, and it shouldn't really be a huge addition. Okay, we could do that before. You know, I can pass over S two fifty four tomorrow and then have it ready with a new amendment on Friday. Okay. I I think it may be a little more difficult on two fifty. But I don't. Well, we're um, not involved in that. That's not our. I, I thought on two fifty, it was joint oversight that was going to do the study and well, make the recommendations. It is what we're, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Because I think if we okay. conduct an entity, we probably have to pay them. Well, 
Well, yeah, I, I, I think that we just left that up to the Justice Oversight Committee about how how that would be done if it, it could be done with uh, CSG or somebody else or just the <clears throat> Oversight Committee itself taking testimony. But I don't think in that one that we had alleged counsel doing this. No, with that one, it was that joint justice shall select an entity in its discretion. Oh, in mean, its discretion. I just know that during the discussions, it was brought up the ledge council could potentially be an option. Um, oh, oh, I see. Right, what and, and what I'm saying is that yeah. a potential way to clarify that language is just yeah. to say an entity independent of yeah, yeah, yeah. the general assembly, yeah. um, which I think would take care of the issue. Um, and we don't even have to say shall select an entity. We can just say justice oversight. We'll talk about that yeah. tomorrow. We'll, we'll talk, yeah. talk about that. Well, let's talk. That's okay. that's a really a, a somewhat okay. different in, it, yeah. issue. Um, yeah. I mean, I, there's nothing to prevent ledge council from in t as far as 254 goes of giving this to a group of students at vermont law school for example i just want to make sure that's still a, an option uh yeah in, in sub uh yeah. subsection b it says that ledge council you know shall have the administrative technical and legal systems of the attorney general the defender general and the center for justice reform at bls and, and other stakeholders interested in the system okay so i think as long as you make it clear that it's that we're not we're looking only for a report not a study and we're not looking for policy recommendations we're merely looking to understand what really <laughs> is the state of the laws in Vermont. Yeah. Okay. I should say case law, because there are no laws, all case law. All right, um, is everybody okay with that? I mean, even those, I, I realize two members of the committee voted against the bill, but I really don't want to see this part of it become a huge issue on the floor. I'm fine with it. Sounds good to me. And, and Senator Sears, just as a, a clarification for me, so this would a four minute offered by you or? Yeah, I think in this case, it'd probably just be me offering a floor amendment since we don't have unanimity but if Senator White and Baruth want to join me, that's fine. I think it's really Baruth, just a technical change. Yeah, yeah Senator Baruth um, um, is, has put a thumbs up to join me on that one. And Senator White, it's up to you. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Sears. Sears, Baruth, and White. That was a very Minnesota, oh, I'm fine. Yeah. Do that. What? The very Minnesota. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh yeah, that's a very... Scandinavian thing. I'm okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm fine being on there. <laughs> okay. yeah, I'll you, I'll you as well. Ben, thank you for raising the issue, and um, oh, I think that will oh, clarify yeah. it. Okay. And obviously, it has to go through the House and the governor, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll make sure that that's drafted up, and uh, I'll, I'll circulate it to you, Dick, so that uh, we can take a look. Okay.